nigga. Uh, if it didn't get the picture, my niggas keep the big missiles. Yeah. Breaking your safe, I like Whitaker. Oh, uh, he talking about Forrest Whitaker. Woo. Get that in there. It is. Oh, he's gonna do a burnout. Burnout! <laughs> I don't know, Ari. <laughs> I just put on the carbon, I don't know, I guess front valence. I guess we'll call that. Still awaiting the diffuser as the final piece, but this MR2 is really shaping up. So yeah, I just want to take the MR2 for a little drive. The battery kept dying. Obviously, it's been sitting there for a while. Damn. So for those of you that don't follow us on Instagram, we have been building a carbon fiber aero kit for the MR2 for the past few months, honestly. It's taken a lot longer than anticipated, but we've definitely learned a ton of lessons during the process. Our aero brand has been growing at a quite steady rate. It's always been a goal of mine to get into the carbon fiber game. Uh, this MR2, I want to give a massive shout out to Darwin for trusting us with this car. This is actually the first full carbon fiber aero kit that we've ever done. So splitter, canards, side skirt extensions, and diffuser. And then I also opted to add these side valances kind of as a last minute bonus for him. So yeah, thank you Darwin for trusting us with this. I am extremely pleased with how it's turned out and I hope you are too. So this kit will be available for purchase on infamousmind.com. I'm gonna be doing the layup for the diffuser tonight and then hopefully installing everything in the next few days here. I got the diffuser laid up. So we're gonna to try to get this thing finished today. This MR2 has a parasitic drain. The battery keeps dying. So I got the booster on there right now, just charging it up. Fast money, fast cars, fast hoes. I get it all and then go. About to take out a couple grand and throw it on the floor. As soon as I so now that I got the valences a little bit more even, I'm gonna mock them up on the car and then I'm gonna have to cut a large portion out to fit around the exhaust. Center section is gonna go here and then each valence piece is gonna go from there and then curl up on the side. So yeah, I'll have to cut a decent amount out. So I'm just gonna mock it up, try to get it in like a final position and then mark out where I need to cut for the exhaust. And then once I have everything lined up for the two side pieces, I'll put the center section in and try to find a way to put everything together and attach it to the car.
right, so we're coming up on the end of the MR2 project here. I'm gonna build one more bracket to get the diffuser on. I've already attached the sides here. They used a thin strip of rubber in between these two pieces to act as a spacer and also as a dampener to absorb any vibrations in between there. Uh, now the only piece left to mount is gonna be the center section. My plan is to build a bracket that comes off of the inside of the bumper here and hangs down about the depth of the license plate frame there, so the bottom of that Club MR2. It's gonna sit about that high and hopefully that should firm everything up in the middle. And if it still needs a little bit more bracketing, I'm gonna add something at the back there behind the uh, exhaust tip, uh, kind of beside the muffler in there. But we'll see how this goes. And guys, I apologize that I did not film any of the actual carbon layup. It's really challenging to film, make sure you're getting the carbon in all the grooves, and then you got epoxy and resin all over your hands, and then you don't want to pick up a camera, and you don't want to take off your gloves, it's just going to slow you down. So it's a bit challenging. Next time I'll make sure I have more than one person there to actually record the process at the same time as the build. So you guys can kind of see a little bit more of how it's actually done. But the purpose of this video is just to show you guys the finished product, showcase our work, and kind of what we're capable of. I'm super proud of this project. It has taken me a very long time there's over like 30 hours of work that's gone in this so far i'm just doing a little bit of extra stuff right now to just kind of enhance darwin's experience i noticed that these strips were really faded i've masked them off and repainted them a nice gloss black All right guys, so we got the diffuser mounted up. You saw in the last clip I was cutting that bracket, so if you take a look under here, you can see I've riveted the diffuser to the bracket, and it just comes off of the bumper in there, a little 90 degree angle. One thing that I might add is two fins in the center of the diffuser. I'm not really sure yet though. I'm gonna mock it up today and kind of see what Darwin thinks of it. But right now we have to go take a couple product photos because we're gonna be releasing a couple new jet tags and uh, it's time to update all of our photos on the website. That light, the way the light's reflecting there, looks so sick. Making these NTO3s pop. Dude, wow, that's nice. Oh, that is a sick view, man. Yeah, dude, that's a sick photo. Damn, all right. City's over there. That's kind of the backdrop for our photos. So I'm probably gonna set the tripod up here and then just take a bunch of product photos with this in the background. This is Joey, by the way, we just hired him. Uh, he's our new employee. He's still on probationary period, so don't fuck up, all right? Anyways, back to the task at hand here. Tip. I heard somewhere it's illegal. <laughs> so this is it. Last few minutes with the MR2 here. Darwin should be showing up pretty soon. I'm just letting it run for a bit because as I mentioned it has a parasitic grain so the battery keeps dying. It's kind of frustrating. I'm not sure what's causing it. I added these splitter rods at the front. It stiffens up the splitter quite a bit actually. You know, it's really strong.
have it. The MR2 is finally complete. I'm gonna pull it inside and just wax it, finish it up a little bit more before we're done. I'm gonna miss this car a lot. A couple of uh, finishing points here. This is by far my favorite part of the kit. This subtle upward curve of these valences and just the way that it comes to this aggressive point here. Really pleased with how that turned out. Quite a challenging diffuser just because of this exhaust here. So I had to cut out quite a bit of material to make it fit around the mufflers. The goal of the rear valences was to match the kind of upward arc of the wing. And then even the splitter here mimics the lip that he has. So everything matches, looks nice and OEM plus. The width of the canards matches the fender line perfectly. And same with the splitter actually. It's been a goal of mine to build carbon kits like this for a really long time. It's something that's much easier said than done. It took a long time to even get to the point where I could build something like this. Let this serve as a lesson to you guys. If you want to do something, just start doing it. Continually progress towards it and eventually you'll get to a point where you're at a level that you never imagined you would be at. I was definitely a little bit in over my head for this project. Never having tackled a project like this, I didn't really know where to start or what pieces to begin with. But over time we learned, we adapted to the changes and we managed to come up with a really sick end result. Let me know what you guys think of the carbon fiber kit on the MR2. Be sure to follow Infamous Mind on Instagram. Next couple of videos, I'm gonna to try to post a little bit more of the actual carbon process and let you guys in on more of how that works. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys next Friday. Ooh. Ooh.